A lot of people are giving up on the Packers. It's a little bit too early. That's the problem that I have really is not, I don't care what you say about Aaron Rodgers. I'm not defending Aaron Rodgers. I don't care. He's a big boy. He can take the criticism. I'm talking about like people who are just like, oh, the season's over. They should put Jordan Love in. And then, yeah, so you just give up on the season halfway through. What if they did that in 2010? 2010, the Packers barely made the playoffs. They were the sixth seed and won the Super Bowl. And back then, sixth seed was the last seed. So, like, you don't just give up, bro. Like, if, if, if the players had the fans' mentality, no team would win a Super Bowl. The winning team of the Super Bowl would be <laughs> have, like, nine wins, bro. Like, you don't just give up. Doesn't look good. Let's just give up and put all the backups in. Trade everybody. Fire everybody. Like, dude, grow a pair, bro. Like, stand by your team. I'm not saying don't criticize, but like to just, to just say like put in the backup and then when Jordan Love's time to shine, I will re represent Jordan Love to the fullest. If he's a starting quarterback, I don't care who the starting quarterback is for the Packers. I'm gonna I'm I, I'm gonna rep that dude. All right, but like right now it's Aaron Rodgers, bro. Aaron Rodgers gives the Packers the best chance to win. Like I I I don't, I don't get the whole giving up. Oh, let, let's put the backup in. Fire everybody and start selling. Trade everybody that you can. Like, I've seen these comments. People have messaged me about this thing, about this stuff. It's the most quitter, weak ass fan base mentality. That is not Packer fans. Like, criticize the quarterback all you want or criticize the team. But when you start talking about, like, just trade away everybody and just give up, like, what the hell? Is this baseball? Like, no, we don't, we don't do that. That's not the Packer way. We fight, we scrounge, you know, and then and let's see what happens. Like, you don't have to be the number one seed. I think Packer fans are so spoiled. They're not the number one seed. They're not, they're not out in the front of, of, of the way. That if you're not the one, two, or three team in the NFC the whole year, panic mode. All right, maybe a little bit of fight, a little bit of grit is good for this team. You know what? A team that has to fight, a team that has to go into the playoffs three weeks, four weeks before everyone else. They have to win out. That's fine. That's how you, that's how a lot of teams win a Super Bowl because, you know, they struggle early on. Now they have to fight. They have to, they have to win every single game, you know, come week, whatever, week 10 or whatever. And that's all right, too. I, I, I think that builds character. All this stuff right now, everyone's coming at you. That's going to show what this locker room is made of, you know? Not just Rodgers, like Mercedes Lewis, you know, a big leader in the locker room. Um, like, how will they react? How will these young guys react? How will the, you know, the, the defense react when they're, like, doing their job for most of the game, the offense isn't doing theirs, and then they kind of get, you know, tired, winded, and then they don't look so hot either. So, will you know, is there enough leadership in that locker room to, like, not have a conflict with the offensive defense. You've heard about other teams like the Ravens. I think I, I heard years ago when the defense was all legit and the offense wasn't and like how they were like battling, battling each other. How will this team react to that? I have faith in this team, but I, I understand like what they have going up. They just went through like the easiest part of their schedule. Didn't go as well as we would have hoped. And now they're going to a really tough part of the schedule. The Bills, the toughest team in the NFL. I think the Bills are the best team in the NFL. Let's see how the Packers react. Are they going to get just washed like a lot of people think? I don't think so. I think that I think they'll stand up to the challenge. I'm not saying like they'll, you know, without a doubt win. I'm not going to put money on it. But I think that, you know, th they can. Backs against the wall, all right, in Buffalo, hostile environment. We'll see what happens. 